Scotland lose against South Africa, 26 points to 20 in Murrayfield. A disappointing result for Scotland, but this is my review and my reaction. So if you do enjoy, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 120 subs by the end of the year. It's free to do. So with your help, we can do it here on BIS Rugby. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts as well and like the video. So how did the game start? Well, not in the best fashion for Scotland. They conceded a try pretty early on. Some great work from Andre Pollard, who had a fantastic match throughout. The new scrum off is debuting today because no Faf de Klerk got through. A lovely step in and in it goes Creel for South Africa. But Scotland respond with a fantastic try of their own. Hugh Jones, a lovely pass outside the back, which was checked to be if it was forward or not. But it wasn't a lovely pass. Ball played out and then in goes Peter Horn and what a try from Scotland and it just shows how good Hugh Jones has been for Glasgow and has been for Scotland over the past year or so attacking wise. Yes there's questions about his defence maybe but attacking wise there's no one really better than him in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm pointing that out there maybe along with Jonathan Davis let me know in the comments down below what you think about that one. But South Africa get their try and it, it, it's such a poor try to concede two minutes after and Peter Horn had gone in, Pollard scores it straight from the kickoff. Scotland lose the restart, they drop it. And it's not really Gray's fault for dropping it because his timing of people lifting him is pretty poor on it. And it comes out to Pollard who gets in and scores two minutes afterwards. You have to keep the momentum going. And when you do that, you just flip it over just like that and it's all over. But Scotland came back, they replied once again through Hamish Watson, what a try this was from the line out, players picked up as usual, but Hamish Watson runs through straight from the training ground, brilliant try, Scotland are looking very, very good. But it's the big decision of the match in my opinion, it's Willie LaRue's yellow card, a deliberate knock on apparently from the TMO, he was going for the intercept, looked pretty... Um, Pretty honest to me, really. I generally thought he was going for the intercept. And the thing is, he was going for it, reached up for it. It looked like he tried to knock it up to catch it again. I don't think it was deliberate. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think. Was it a deliberate knock-on, in your opinion? I don't think it was. I think it was a genuine attempt to play the ball and to go for the try. But in that 10 minutes, Scotland just didn't deliver. That 10 minutes defined the match in my opinion. If Scotland had got some points in that time they could have won the match but they got zero points and even worse than that South Africa actually got three points and probably could have got nine points where Pollard missed two fairly easy kicks to be honest with you. And in that 10 minutes no points, conceding points, it's always going to be tough for you. But uh, one a uh, frustrating thing for Scotland fans will be that Stuart Hogg went off injured. We don't know how serious that is. We'll have to wait to see if he can play against Argentina next week. But three points to pick up from this match, really, I've got to cover now. Quickly, is a poor start. Number one is poor start. They started poorly. South Africa are not as bad as they were maybe two years ago. They are on the resurgence side. They have improved drastically. Number two is no points in that 10 minutes. That 10 minutes was key, that was crucial to the outcome of the game. You have got to take your points. When you get time like that, you've got to be clinical. You have one extra man, you've got to make it count. And number three is poor penalties. Giving penalties away in stupid areas and silly mistakes by the ruck, at the mall and at the scrum. Scotland struggled at the scrum today, in my opinion. But a disappointing result, yes, 26 points to 20, but they will look forward to Argentina next week. And I generally think they will be Argentina, I'm pretty confident as a Scotland fan. But Pollard, what a match he played for South Africa today. He deserves the Man of the Match award and the acclaim he gets. So there you go, there's my review of the match. If you have enjoyed, do subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, take it easy, peace.